Hello and welcome back here to Oblivion. And those swords are going a bit haywire with the physics. Yes, as always, if you have been enjoying, please do like and subscribe to the channel. But now, let us continue onwards with the arena. Defeating an arena hero is one thing. But defeating a former member of the Blades? You must be blessed by the Divines or something, my friend. You're a hero, my friend. That crowd is out there for one reason, to see you destroy the yellow team. Now go give them what they want. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, hero. This next opponent is a high elf wizard. A master in the school of destruction. But wait, it gets worse. He also uses an enchanted shield called the Grey Ages, which gives him some serious magic resistances. Your best bet is to just charge straight in. Press the attack, and don't give him a chance to let off a spell. I don't want to have to sweep your ashes out of the arena. Okay, let's get in there and kill. As we always do. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome okay. to the arena. Put your Mage. hands and your voices together for the two brave heroes who have come to rock the very foundations of this arena. Lower the gates! <gasps> Let me at him! Let me at him! I'm just warming up, you pathetic yeah. worm! <laughs> Let's get this over with! Yes, agreed. You're the best of blue yeah. team! Yes, I am the best of blue team, and you're dead. The end. I'll be honest, Hero. With the kinds of victories you've been having, I knew that elf didn't stand a chance. Here's your gold. You're at the end of a long road, Hero. This is the last time you'll face off against the Yellow Team before being named champion. Go up to that arena and make sure the people of Cyrodiil never forget that it was you who brought the Yellow Team to its knees. All right, let's do it. All right, this is it. Your last fight against the Yellow Team. I guess you could say they saved the best for last. The three best, actually. You're up against a swordsman, an archer, and a spellcaster. Two lower level combatants, plus that yellow team champion you've seen down here. You beat all three and you get named champion. I know you can do this. Now get up there and show everyone why you're the best. Oh wait, there's one more thing. I sent Porkchop the boar up to the arena to help you out. He'll at least keep one of them distracted. Now good luck. Thank you, Owen. Let's just save up. Port chop the boar. The person hitting, hitting that, I think, was the leader of the red team. Yellow team. Whatever team. Who cares? They're all going to die, anyways. Port chop! Yes. I give you a blue jeans hero. Where are you going, Port Chop? Get back in the fight. Three opponents have become the next champion. Yes, I'm blue team, they're yellow team. Come on, Port Chop. The spell cast it down. What's the matter? Getting tight. <laughs> One. It's time for you. Ooh, it's a bit weird with like uh, what's going on with the. Uh, Thingy me jiggy. I don't know why my character is like popping down under the ground there. No, not pork chop. 
Every last one. Do you know how long it will take for the yellow team to recover from this? <laughs> My friend, it is with great honor that I advance you to the rank of champion. You've done it. You've shown them all you're the best. Well, almost the best. You're done competing in normal arena matches, but they're still the grand champion. Kid, you've got more guts and skill. I think you can take the great prince. Go over and talk to Isabel if you think I'm right. Ooh, okay, the Great Prince. Uh, you know what? I think I'll try and... So, the, the Great Prince has the mission. A quest that can basically just destroy him and he won't fight you in, the, in like, the final battle, but I'm going to decide to fight him legit. And who in Shinji's name might you be? Look, if you're a spectator, go upstairs and talk to the gatekeeper. This ain't no damn peep show. And... Wait, I know you. You're that new champion, right? Hmm, I guess I know why you're here. But let me tell you, you're making a big mistake. The Grey Prince is the best fighter the arena has ever seen. He can't be beaten, not by you. But hey, it's your right. If you want to challenge Agronac, go right ahead. He lives down here in the Bloodworks. Do that. Come talk to me again, and I'll arrange your match. Okay. All right, great prince. Hail, friend. I don't believe I've ever seen you down here in the Bloodworks before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Agranak Gromalag. Most people just call me the Grey Prince. It's kind of silly, I know, but the people of Cyrodiil need heroes. I'm more than happy to oblige. I know who you are, of course, and it's easy to guess why you're here. You wish to challenge me for my title of Grand Champion, is that it? Uh, yes, I wish to challenge you. As I expected, I accept your challenge. Speak to Isabel and let her know when you're ready, and I shall make for the arena. Shinji be with us both. All right, Isabel. So you've actually challenged the Grey Prince. Do you really know what you've gotten yourself into? Agronagro Malog is the best fighter ever to step into an arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. can't be beaten. Not by you. He's going to be beaten but by if me. if you want to fight him, that's your right. Well, you know the drill. You let me know when you're ready for a match, and Agronak will head up to the arena and prepare for your arrival. Just make sure you understand our rules of competition for this match. Fighting the Grand Champion will... The rules are a bit different. Uh, do you know any rumors, though? Would you believe Owen once asked for my hand in marriage? It's true. Poor bastard was heartbroken when I turned him down. I'm old, not desperate. What's the rules of this composition? Okay, listen up. There are no disqualifications in a grand champion match. That means you can wear whatever armor you damn well please. Agronak will be wearing his raiment of valor, and he's probably got it heavily enchanted, so feel free to do the same to any armor you have. Now, as you know, in any standard arena match, you're forbidden from looting the corpse of a fallen opponent. Well, this ain't any standard match. In the event that you beat the Grey Prince, you're to remove his armor and present it to me. Then you'll get your own raiment of valor. Right. You're the battle matron. The battle matron serves as the grand champion's trainer and manager, among other things. Plus, I get to keep Owen in line. Works for me. 
and the Blade Master Owen. Owen likes to think he's the boss, but without me, this place would fall apart. Who orders the ointment? Who mops up the blood? Me, that's who. And Gaiden Shinji. The history books detail his life as a warrior for the Order of Diagna, but he was also the first Blade Master. No Shinji, no arena. Simple as that. Okay, um, I'm not ready for the match yet, but well, I will be pretty what soon. For? Get. Yes, I'm getting. Don't you worry. I need to armor up for this fight. Oops. Do you need something? Uh, no, I don't. Hello. What I did I do? Right. That is... <laughs> Drop this. Nice collection I've got going on there. I look like Sauron. Very good. Let's go back to the arena. Let's wait till morning. And get fighting the Grey Prince. I think. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Well, right. Let. So you've actually ch act with yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for a match. So you're ready to fight the Grey Prince, are you? Well, you can't go out there without a name. You know, an <sighs> arena name. Something catchy. Something the people of Cyrodiil will remember when they tell stories about your inglorious defeat. So what's it gonna be? Something kind of shitty. The Butcher, Black Arrow, Soul Crusher. <laughs> Man of War. It's a slaughter. Crimson Blade. How about the Crimson Blade? The Crimson Blade, huh? I like it. Yeah, that'll do nicely. All right, it's time to see if you're crazy good or just plain crazy. The Grey Prince is headed up to the arena as we speak. Go up there and meet him, one champion to the next. May the Divines have mercy on your soul. Well, <laughs> she what are you waiting for? She scowls at me. Get! Yes, I am the Crimson Blade. Fear me. This might be tough. All people of Cyrodiil, welcome to the Imperial City Arena. Believe it or not, someone has actually challenged the unbeatable Arena Grand Champion. But who? Such a fearless foe who could wrest the title from our fate, Grey Prince. Good people, I give you the blue team's latest champion, a warrior of skin. Nice, yes, yes. Keep, keep singing my praises. The Crimson Bride. No, let's not save it. Give you the battle of the ages, combatants. Steal yourselves. Lower the gates. This is going to be tough. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe not. Let's get this over. I keep doing this, but am I? Am I? Am I? Okay, I'm on the... 
Take that. Yeah. No more. Damn. Am I supposed to be in? There we go. You guys shit. Agronach is dead as shit. Slowly tapping. Because I want to see that pop a uh, hundred. Behold, the new hero of the people of Cyrodiil. Behold, the arena grand champion, the Crimson Blade. Esteemed grand champion, you may leave the arena now. See the blade. See the blade bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying. I did pick it up. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Well, I'll, just, I'll just take it to her and then uh, it should do mission complete. I think, I think it's a bit glitchy. Well met. There you go. By the love of Shinji, you did it. You beat the Grey Prince. This, this is unbelievable. That makes you the best fighter the arena has ever seen. You've got Agronax Raymond of Valor. Good. Give it to me. All right. Now I give you your own. By Shinji, I... I'm shaking. This is amazing. Okay, do. Do you want a heavy Raymond of Valor or a light Raymond of Valor? Your choice. Yeah, the heavy. Right. Okay. It is with great honor that I present to you this gold and the esteemed raiment of valor and name you the new arena grand champion. You've done it. The Grey Prince was a great orc. Rest his soul and all that. But you beat him. <laughs> now go. Take some time to rest. When you're feeling up to it, come talk to me again and we'll discuss your future. <laughs> she doesn't look happy. She never looks happy. Uh, let's just see this Raymond of Valor. Oh, it does a lot, but like I don't really care too much. The Elven Sword's going as well. So with the... Uh, Ah, uh, discuss the future. But I think I don't even have to bother really with that. Because if I look at this, I'm already Grand Champion. I'm already the Grand Champion. Wow, oh no. You're the Grand Champion. I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. You're the best. Can I can I follow you around? I won't get in the way. Uh be it kid. I don't need a fan. Oh, gee. You sure? Okay. Well, I'll be hanging around the arena grounds if you need someone to worship the ground you walk on. Bye. Oh, God. Right. So that's that one done. Let's just sell off my stuff. And get on to the next quest line, which will be the Mages Guild. Yes. How are you? Damn straight, it's going to be the Mages Guild. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. An excellent bargain. Have that. I'm going to put that away, actually. Now, how do we get into the Mages Guild? We have to get... I'm pretty sure we have to get, like, applications... Endorsements from the rest of the other... Mages Guild... Guilds... Before you get into the Arcane University. Right. 
Right. Ooh. Right. Refill. Let's start here first. I have got everything everything that I need, right? Uh Oh yeah, I've got more than enough stuff on me. <laughs> Oi. Okay, time to get in. The university. By joining the major guilds. By chatting with, I think, this lady right here. Delphin Gend, creator of the celebrated Enemies Explode spell, advanced trainer in destruction, and mage destined for great things. Uh, really? Uh, what can you tell me about Breville? I love my work. Fire, frost, shock, poison. Little presents for Kinnereth's cute little woodland creatures. And the Mage's Guild? You'll need to talk to Kudai if you want to join the Guild. Or any of the heads of the local guild halls, for that matter. Could I? Yeah. Greetings. Well met. Afternoon. Could Good I? To see. What brings you to me today, friend? Uh. Breville? I take my duties as chapter head very seriously, unlike some guild mages. It infuriates me how casual some guild heads are about common civility. Uh, what about uh, you, could I? Yes, I'm the one looking for my friend. His name is Henantir. If you find him, I'll be glad to offer you a sizable reward. Uh, any rumors? The Mages Guild runs more or less like it always did. But we lost quite a few members when the practice of necromancy was banned. And Anita. I miss him so. We were study mates at the Arcane University, and we've come to grow fond of each other over the years. He's always getting himself into jams with the careless ways he performs his experiments. And, well, I'm afraid he's done it again. I'm going to level with you as you seem like you wish to help. Henantir isn't missing, on the contrary. I know exactly where he is. The problem is, he's trapped and there's no way I can free him. Um, uh, fine by me. I just want the reward. Great. Whatever suits you and gets me Henantir back suits me just fine. When you're ready to go and see him, let me know. But please, do hurry. What's new with you? Uh, will this get me into the... I have heard that the great houses of Morrowind are in upheaval. Are you ready to follow me to Helentir? Lead on. Fantastic. Let's be off then. It's not surprising considering Morrowind's violent past. Right. I hope this is the, the guild. Well, this chapter's master. I think she is. Is he down a well? Maybe. Where is he? He's in a deep sleep. Well, as you can see, Henantir's right here, and he's trapped in his dream world. Henantir. We aren't going far, so no need to prepare for a long journey. In fact, he's still in town. More I can't say aloud without risk of others hearing. And the dream world? 
I told him that trying to travel into one's own dreams is risky, but as usual, he didn't listen to me. Always has to do things his way. Henantir constructed a magical device he called the Dream World Amulet. With this device, one can enter his own mind and experience dreams. Anyone can dream. True, but this is different. When you enter your dreams with the amulet, you're in full command of a dreamlike replica of yourself. All your thoughts, your skills, and your talents travel there with you. Think of it as exploring a new land, but a land within your own mind. Henantir created the amulet to see if he could use his dreams as a training ground to help better himself. I don't know all of the details, but the amulet is a conduit to get to that training ground. It's been three days, and he's been stuck in his dreams. I've watched him all that time, and he hasn't been up at all. The only way to save him is to put on the Dream World amulet and go to sleep. Only then can you hopefully find out what's happened in there. Uh, why me? Why haven't you tried? I fear that anyone he knows won't be able to help him in there. Since I'm in his memories, he may dismiss me as a figment of his dreams. The only chance is for a total stranger to enter his dreams. When you're ready to do this, I'll give you the amulet. Only I know the secret way it can be removed from his neck. Don't take this sojourn lightly. The recesses of the mind can be the darkest place of all. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to pause it for now and continue on later because I myself need to go into the dreamland. So, uh, it's literally going to be a second from now and I'll be back the next day with like, more Oblivion. So, uh, here's that next day. And here I am back again with more Oblivion in the same episode, even though it's two different days. Right, I've got to go into the dream world, apparently, so let's uh, get to it. Are you prepared to enter the dream world? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Please, use the extra bed here. If you sleep too far from Henantir, it may not work. I'll watch over you both to make sure you're safe. Oh my, I almost forgot. Henantir once told me that if he's killed in his dreams, Anyone that's in there with him will die as well. So do be careful. Ah, <laughs> very good. Uh, the dream world. You'll have to be very careful in there. If Henantir intended it as a training ground, there's no telling what you may encounter. And Henantir? My poor Henantir. I shudder to think what's happened to him in there. Now is the time for sleep. How I wish I could go with Uh Do I have to put the I have to put the necklace on, don't I? My word. Hello. I've lost my way. This place looks so familiar, but I can't remember how I got here. Can you help me? Uh, you're in the dream world, mate. This place is so strange. Dream world, you say? It's more like a nightmare. I don't like this nope. place at all. It's the dream world. I feel like I <gasps> shouldn't be here. Yeah, you there shouldn't. There must be an exit Let me around just my chair. <laughs> I'd explore this place, but I'm afraid I just don't have the courage to do so. How could I be so careless? What's the matter with me? I know I've lost something. Yes. That's it. I, I've lost many things in this strange place. Would you please help me? Uh, yeah, what do you want? Do you want some clothes? Have you found an exit to this place yet? We must escape. Right, I've got to find an exit. Cool. Like this? Pretty sure this is not a quest that. Whoa, okay. Okay, 
let's keep going until we find some kind of exit or something. Ooh, I'm currently silenced. I can't actually do anything like that. Oh, we're going for it. What are you? We must get out of this place. Have this. Have you found an exit to this place yet? We must escape. Uh, well, I got one orb thing. Test of courage. Keep going down. Gimme. We must get out of this place. I'm working on it. Don't worry about it. Mysterious scroll. Things, isn't it? Oh. All right. Um. Hmm. Common pattern would be this one, I suppose. Ah, it's a larger pattern. So this is the third from the right. Right. The final one. Third from the left. Okay. Wait, was it two or three? I think it was. Three. See, I nearly messed up right then. One, two, three. Then it's two up. One across, two up. And then... Three across, one down. Right, okay. There we go. Nice. We must get out of this place. More elements. There's just one more, right? And then I think we're done with this dream world. Was that the one that I went through? I've not done this one. Everything that I have. Balaxes. Oh, 
Hello, mighty Minotaur. There we go. Nice. Easy peasy. We should be done with this quest. This is not one of the quests that you do to um, resolve. Please. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Or get into the Major's Guild, should I say? Definitely not. I feel as though I'll be trapped here forever, and I don't even know why. Because you're in the dream world. But how? What you say must be the truth. I feel strange. I can see now what you were saying was no story at all, but the truth, and I'm a fool. I had no idea that the amulet could hold such power over me. I set out to create a way to conquer my failings, but it seems the tables had turned, and they conquered me. I don't know how you did it, but I thank you. Now, we must wake from this dream and take our places in the real world again. Farewell. It's good to see you in the real world. I'm indebted to you for rescuing me from my nightmare. I suppose thanks are only a small token of my appreciation. Allow me to reward you for your bravery. I'm afraid I don't have much in the way of coins. But allow me to present you with something that may help in your travels. Oh, thank you. Gills. Okay. Farewell, friend. And if I talk to you... Tata, are you here about joining the Mages Guild? Yes, I am. I want to join the Mages Guild. Well, no bounty on your head. And you look able enough. Very well. Are you sure you want to join the Guild? Yes, I want to join the Guild. Then... I declare you to now be an associate of the Mages Guild. Welcome to the ranks. You'll need to acquire recommendations from all the local Guild Hall leaders to advance further in the Guild. If they're smart, they'll take the opportunity to have you perform a small service for them. One good turn deserves another, after all. We have a responsibility to look after one another, don't we? I dare say we do, no matter what the costs. Okay, you got the Mage's Guild key, join the Mage's Guild. Uh, tell me about the Arcane University. The Council of Mages meets there in the Imperial City. That's where the real power of the Guild lies. If you do what you need to, you'll get there one day. Just don't forget to help those who have aided you on your way. The Mage's Guild. Each local Guild Hall has its own way of doing things. That means each hall has its own set of problems. And how about a recommendation? Are you so eager to begin? Very well. We can start if you feel you are ready. I'm ready. I'm afraid I haven't had time to prepare anything conventional. I'm very preoccupied with this situation concerning Ardalin. Perhaps you can help with that, however. I can't directly get involved for fear of embarrassing the poor girl. I'll need you to have a little chat with Varen Vamori, and you can learn something about the power of illusion in the process. Uh, Edrilan? Don't say anything to her. I don't want to embarrass her further. Once this is all taken care of, I'll speak to her privately. What about this Varen? I don't understand it. Some ridiculous male thing, I suppose. He's been bothering Ardeline every day for a while now. He even stole her mage's staff. 
Perhaps he thinks it's amusing. I don't know. But it needs to stop. It's making her miserable. The major stuff. It's more symbolic than practical, but each carries great significance to its owner. You're going to get Arteline's staff back. Take this charm scroll. With it, you should find Varon more receptive to questioning. Don't come back without that staff. Uh, uh, tell me more about the staff. Varon Vamori should give it to you once you've persuaded him, if you understand me. <coughs> the recommendation? If you want it, you'll need to persuade Varon Vamori using whatever means necessary to return that staff. And more about this Varon Vamori. You have what you need to help him talk. I admit, it's not standard guild procedure, but I do anything for one of my girls. Because you're a good leader. Make sure Varen hands over that staff. Right. Quest. Oh, of course, I'm naked. Uh, okay. Put you there. Where's the bow? There. I forgot what she charmed on. So I'm now I'm the grand champion of the arena. That's good. And I'm an associate of the Mages Guild. And I've nearly leveled up my armor to full. Which is good to see. Blades getting up there as well. Let's wait till morning. And I think I have the wrong quest. I think I just have to join the mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reveal recommendation. Let's find this guy, whoever this guy is. There you are. Can I help you? Uh, do you know any rumors? She doesn't leave home much, but apparently Luciana Galena has a lot of experience fighting in light armor. What about Breville? Old. Worn and wicked, wet, wounded, and wild, empty as the eastern horizon, dusk on the Nibbon, solemn and bitter as the grave. A poet, I see. Farewell. Fairly well to you. I'm going to charm you. Just let me get my spell. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? Uh, tell me about, uh, Adrian. I don't know what to say. All I want is for her to care about me, to feel the same way as I do about her. But she doesn't. I try and I try, and it just doesn't matter. It makes me furious sometimes. What about her major's stuff? All right. I admit it. I took it from her. I... I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I was trying to tell her how I feel, again, and she wouldn't even stop to talk to me. I just got so angry. I was a little ashamed afterwards, but I didn't know how to apologize or give it back. I wish I could. I'm afraid I don't have it anymore, you see. I... I sold it to a friend of mine, Saurus Aranum. You sold the major stuff. If I still had it, I'd gladly give it back. You'll have to talk to Soros Arenum if you want it. Who's this Soros Arenum? He lives in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. He's the one who has Ardalene staff now. 
Tell Goodbye, Ar friend. I don't care what you have to say about her. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Hello, friend. What can I do? Where was he again? <laughs> he lives in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. He's the one who has orderly in staff now. Talos Plaza. Tell. Oh, I need to tell. I need to tell. Khajiit lady, not Khajiit. Argonian. I can't. I can't believe it took me a long time to think of the name of the Argonian race. What is it, associate? Any luck talking with Varen Vermor yet? It should be no trouble at all once you use that scroll. Uh, yeah, Varen Vermorium. He sold it, huh? Well, this just keeps getting worse. Very well. I presume he gave you some indication of where the staff is now located. Take these and go resolve the situation. And of course, please keep this just between us. Yeah, the guile. Uh, the major stuff. No staff yet? Well, keep at it. Those charm scrolls should do most of the work for you if you put them to good use. Get that staff back, associate. I'll get it back. I'll bloody get it back. Right. Speak. This is the place. Well met. What is it? What can I do for you tonight? Uh, the Imperial Staff. Imperial Staff, Major Staff. Look, I can't just give it to you. I paid good money for it, after all. I'll tell you what. You give me at least a portion of what I paid for it. Say, 200 gold. And I'll give you the staff. That's a good deal, right? I wouldn't offer it to anyone else, just you. So, what do you say? Uh, it's a deal. I'll just take the money from you then. And here's your staff. <laughs> now, since our business is concluded, you must excuse me. Good day. There we go. All done. And dusted. I have the major's staff. I want to smash something with my sword. Or a hack. Hack something to pieces. Well met, guildmate. What? Everyone's yes. saying that. Here you go. Do you have the major's staff associate? Yeah, here it is. Ah, wonderful. I shall be most pleased to return this to its rightful owner. Thank you. You needn't tell me the details of what was involved in getting it. It's perhaps better that I know nothing about it. Your actions for the guild more than merit a recommendation. I shall send it to the university promptly. And to thank you more personally, I shall teach you this spell. You may find it useful in certain circumstances. Ooh, what spell? It doesn't matter what spell. I do hope our paths cross again. That's it really terrible. doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, the recommendations. Leowin. Right. Of course, Leowin is uh, raining. Why wouldn't it be? You know what? I'm actually going to call it here for now. 
another major skill that's around here somewhere, it's right there in front of me, that yellow building. Uh, but I'm going to call it, and I'm going to continue on next time. So, if you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back next time with more Oblivion. Okay, until the next one, bye!